Cruises are happening from the Caribbean, we're gearing up for a U.S. restart, and we now know when the Mardi Gras will sail. Those stories and more next on the Cruise News Week in Review. Hey everyone, I'm Mark and this is The Cruise World and our channel is all about cruising with vlogs, reviews, tips, and of course, the cruise news. So if cruising's your thing, I invite you to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Now let's jump into the news. A week ago, the celebrity millennium set sail from St. Martin and today, many cruisers, including numerous friends of mine, will board the adventure of the seas in Nassau. Finally, after nearly 16 months without major cruise lines operating in North America, Cruising is back. And it won't be long until the ships are sailing from right here in the U.S. Celebrity is kicking things off with the Edge from Fort Lauderdale on June 26th and the Equinox later in July. And as we mentioned last week, Carnival will have four ships operating in July, starting on the 3rd with the Vista out of Galveston and the Horizon from Port Miami on July 4th. Later in the month, the Breeze will sail from Galveston and the Miracle will conduct Alaska sailings from Seattle. And we learned this week that the July sailings will be operated as 95% vaccinated cruises. If you'd like more detailed information on the protocols, check out this video right here. But Carnival wasn't done with the announcements. On Thursday, we got the news we've all been waiting for. The Mardi Gras will make her debut passenger sailing from Port Canaveral on July 31st. Carnival also plans to have the Magic, Sunrise, and Panorama in action in August. And these four ships are also planned to be for vaccinated guests only. Carnival did have to cancel more sailings through August as well. So for all of the details, please go to Carnival.com or check out this video. With one ship already sailing in the Caribbean and another setting sail today, Royal Caribbean Group Chairman and CEO Richard Fain has high hopes for cruising in the U.S. this summer. After 15 long months of isolation, the freedom of being in this kind of bubble is incredibly liberating. So start counting the days on your fingers, mark the dates off on your calendars. Summer is starting in the United States and cruising is going to be a big part of it. Royal Caribbean plans to have six ships sailing from US ports in July and August, beginning on July 2nd in Miami with the Freedom of the Seas and the brand new Odyssey of the Seas will sail from Fort Lauderdale on July 3rd. Serenade of the Seas will sail to Alaska from Seattle starting July 19th and the Ovation will join her in mid-August. Allure, Symphony, and Mariner of the Seas will sail from Florida in August, and the Independence of the Seas will sail from Galveston. Norwegian Cruise Line plans to set sail this summer with voyages from New York, California, Florida, and Seattle. The two ships getting the party started will be the Norwegian Encore sailing Alaskan itineraries starting August 7th, and the Gem will be sailing from Miami starting August 15th. And MSC also announced restart plans this week for both vaccinated and unvaccinated guests. The MSC Meraviglia will set sail from Miami on August 2nd, and the Divina will resume from Orlando in September. These are new itineraries, and they go on sale this Wednesday. MSC plans to reveal additional itinerary details for the ships in the coming weeks, as well as expected health and safety guidelines. I've never had a cruise director ruin a cruise for me, but I sure have had cruise directors that made an awesome vacation even better. I know a lot of Carnival cruisers agree, and that's why so many people were chomping at the bit to find out who would be assigned to the four Carnival ships sailing in July. And now we know. At the helm of the excitement on board will be Jonathan Cookie Adams on the Carnival Breeze and Kindle Magyar, better known as Kindle Fire, on the Carnival Vista from Galveston as well as Chris Salazar on the Carnival Horizon from Miami and Jen Baxter on Carnival Miracle from Seattle. I know that they are just as excited as we are to get the fun started. Mardi Gras, the first liquefied natural gas powered cruise ship in North America, sailed in just a week ago. And on Wednesday, the ship received her first refuel of LNG at Port Canaveral's Terminal 3. The terminal was built to accommodate the new ship, and it took close to eight hours to deliver enough fuel to power the Mardi Gras for about 14 days. Carnival Cruise Line President Christine Duffy said, Today was another milestone in what promises to be many firsts for Mardi Gras. Many thanks to our partners at Shell and Port Canaveral for their role in bringing LNG to the Americas. I know we have some fellow cruisers from down under that tune into the channel. And as cruising ramps up here on this side of the world, the Australian Minister for Health and Aged Care Greg Hunt has announced that the human biosecurity emergency period in Australia will be extended for a further three months. 
That means no cruising until at least September 17th of this year. I really feel for our friends down under, and I do know that the Biosecurity Act 2015 can be amended or repealed at any time. So I hope things will improve quickly so you guys can get back out to sea soon as well. Even with all the positive news this week, the cruise stocks had mixed reactions. Royal Caribbean finished the week at $90.09 a share, a drop of 4.3%. Carnival Corporation and PLC fell just over 2% to close at $29.93 a share. And Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings inched up $0.11 cents to $32.23, a gain of under a half percent from last week's closing bell. You are now all caught up with what's going on in the cruise world. We would really appreciate it if you'd hit that thumbs up button. It helps YouTube know that you enjoy the cruise content. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? It's absolutely free and we have a ton of great content planned. We'd love to hear your comments and cruise countdowns. So drop us a line in the comments. And as always, remember, life is short and cruising is fun. We'll see you next time.